All right, today I'm going to show you how to add new apps to your iPad from the App Store. So how to download them, find them, and how to update them. So on your iPad, you want to click on the icon for the App Store. It's going to open up. Now I have mine on top charts. Yours may open up on a different one if it's the first time. Featured apps, top charts. Genius is one that recommends apps for you based on the apps that you already have if you turn that on and then the apps you purchased and then apps that require updates that you already have. So, but to search for apps, let's see, I go to top charts. I am going to have a list of the most popular apps categorized by ones that cost money, underpaid, free apps, and then ones that are top grossing that over time have, uh, have sold the most apps. Now here, it's you'll notice that I have a lot of games and other types of apps that I may not be interested in because I'm viewing all categories. So if I want to filter this and only view certain categories, I can click on that and let's say choose education. So now I'm seeing the top charts just for educational apps. So I can scroll through these. And it lists, I think, 100 right here, and you could then even view more. Um, and you'll notice that most of them say free or a price. Some of them have a cloud icon or say open. The ones that say open are apps that I already have installed on this iPad. The ones with the cloud are ones that I have installed maybe on my iPhone or another device or ones that I have previously downloaded and then later on deleted. Um, this just shows you that they're part of my um, Apple ID account, ones that I had previously downloaded. So I could download it again if I wanted to. So I search, see what's new. But if I'm looking for a specific type of app, yeah, I want to go in the search bar up in the corner here. Now I typed in multiplication game, so I'm going to click search. And then I'm going to get a list of 843 games that fall in that category. Now it's a bit much, so I might be looking for ones that are paid apps or free apps. So I'll do free. And now there's 294, so that's fewer to look through. I can also filter by category. Now these mostly are educational apps, but I can do that and maybe a few of them will be taken away. Let's see, now I have 275. And now I could search and see, and the key thing is to look for, there's a number by the stars that show you how many people have rated this app. If it's very few, you might be more cautious or look at an app that's more established. Like this one here has over a thousand reviews and it's four stars. So if you think that might be a good app, you can click on somewhere on here and it will open it up. So you can read about it, the details. You can read the reviews from actual users. And let's see, let's see, I search for another one. Three star flashcards, maybe not. Let's see. Now let's say I find one. I read about it. And I like it. I can purchase it or download it by clicking on the free button. Or if it's a paid app, it will have a price there. Click on, f on that. And then I'm going to click on it again where it says install app. Now, it may prompt you to enter your password from your Apple ID if you haven't downloaded an app in the past few minutes. I have, so that's why it did not prompt me. Now it's going to download it, and it takes a little bit of time. There's a status bar that's going to slowly fill up, showing me that it's downloading. Now, I don't need to sit here and watch this. I can click outside of here and continue searching as well as download loading other apps or do other work on my iPad and it will still download. So I can go to my home button, close this up, and I'll see that app is downloading. It looks like it could be a large app. It's taking a while, but I can just ignore that later on. That will be there ready for me to, to, uh, to use. Now the final thing is apps often have updates 
the people who make the apps make improvements or add features. And currently it doesn't do, uh, update automatically. You need to click on update. So you'll have a reminder here by your app store, a badge that will tell you how many of your apps have current updates. So here I have 10. So I go to my app store again. And on the bottom here, I click on the update tab with a small 10 by it. And I'll see the list of apps that I have that have updates. And I can read about what the updates include. Oftentimes they're just small things that you won't notice, but sometimes they do add really cool new features. And I can update them by clicking on update by any of the apps. Or the easier way may be to just click on update all in the corner here. It may take, who knows, 5, 10, 20 minutes to uh, update them, but you can click on that and then continue working and the apps will be updated. So let's say I want to update my TED app. It's currently doing that or I could update all.